Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing a mascara. I've been doing a few, especially from the the lash stash from Sephora that was released this year for the holidays and I've been really loving that. But this one is actually something that I have used before and that I have a few samples of and so I wanted to show people who didn't know about it, which everybody knows about this I think, but it is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Yes, so I've had a full version of this before. I've had a full version um, a few times. Sorry, I have cat fur on my face. Uh, being a pet owner. So um, I have a few of them and I have to say, I really do enjoy this mascara for the most part. You know, there's always pros and cons to everything, but um, I know this is a fan favorite for many. And what it basically says is that it's about um, lengthening the eyelashes and making them more full. And so that's what it is about, is making a more dramatic full look. So it's not necessarily supposed to be like an everyday, hey, I mean, I would wear it every day. I mean, it's not over the top, but that's what it's supposed to be, is more of a dramatic look than say, you know, the day-to-day -day look. So I think everybody's tried this at least once. Um, I have about three of these samples because what I will say about Too Faced is they are extremely generous with their mascaras. <laughs> they just hand these bad boys out because they want you to get addicted to them and keep buying them. And I can understand why. It really is um, quite nice. So what I'm going to do is a demo here in a second. But this is the wand and again this is... Um, this is actually a sample, but they're really generous. They aren't, like some of the samples are so tiny. This is actually really generous and will last you a good month easily. And they hand these out for free um, when you order off their website. So, you know, if you're ordering anything, you may get one of these and you know you want to because it's actually quite nice. So here's the brush. You can see it has a lot going on there. Um, but it works really well with what it's supposed to do. It does pick up a little at the tip, but that's normal with a lot of mascara wands. Some pick up more than others. This isn't ridiculous in my opinion, but um, because a lot of the, you know, the mascara is at the bottom, but you can always just tip it off there. So what I'm gonna do, um, usually I wear an eyelash primer. I'm not going to do that when wearing this because I feel like it might get in the way of the actual product of showing what it's like. I use eyelash primer because it protects the eyes. I've noticed it has stopped fallout from my eyelashes and it is known to make things look thicker. So um, usually I would wear that, but I'm not going to today because I am using this as a tester. So just a little FYI. So what I'm gonna do is just put it on this eye at first just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I did put it, as you can see, on the lower lashes as well. I really like it for the lower lashes. Um, it really does a good job at separating them. I have really long eyelashes. They're a pain in the butt. So even though something may say it's curling, I don't think this is. I think this is just for volume and for lengthening. Um, I just want to say that I have really straight, thick, long eyelashes that lay flat. But um, this is what it looks like. This is the one without. This is the one with so you can get a good idea. And I love this because I do think it definitely does add volume looking at it. It really does. So I am gonna go in with a second coat. There it is. Yeah. I think it actually is quite noticeable. I love this mascara because I do think that it is quite noticeable in comparison to some other ones. It definitely does add volume to it. So I love it for that. Now this may be a little bit too dramatic for some people during the day. This may be something that you may wanna use more at night. But what I'm gonna do now is finish this eye and then I'm gonna curl these up. So I just wanted you to see what it looks like. I just wanted you to see what it looks like before I curl it so you can get a real idea of what it looks like. So when you see me next, both eyes are gonna be done and curled and then I'll get on with the review. So this is the final look. I didn't wanna curl my eyelashes beforehand or do anything like that before I put it on, but now I've finished everything up. This is it, it's been fussed with, here it is. And I'm happy with the final product. I knew what I was gonna get. I've used this before. I really enjoyed this mascara. 
Um, what I will say, the pros, it most definitely does lengthen the eyelashes. It definitely adds volume. I think it says it does it a thousand percent. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. This isn't a thousand percent. It is a good amount. Nobody's going to argue that, but that always makes me kind of laugh a little. They're like a thousand percent. I'm like, wow, your eyelashes would be like drooping <laughs> if it was that much. <laughs> You'd be in pain. They'd be pulling off. But um, yes, it does definitely make them, you know, thicker. It does. It does add volume. It does add length. It's really great for that. And I really like it. I do wear it day to day, but I would definitely wear this more at night. But like nothing stops me <laughs> during the day. I like a little bit of lash, you know. But if you work in a more conservative environment or you just don't like that kind of look, then this may not be for you. But if you have thinner eyelashes and they may be a little bit spare, um, sparse and you want to add a little bit of volume to them, this may be for you if you're ready for the weekend and you want that kind of false eyelash look without the false eyelashes. Now, I'm not going to go that far and say that they're going to be that great. You know, I mean, false eyelashes, you can't really beat that. But if you're not into that and you want a more dramatic look, this is the way to go. And that's kind of me. I don't tend to wear false eyelashes. That's just me. So many people do, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the look. It's just not for me. So I feel like this is a good alternative, but again, it really depends on your eyelash type because again, I have really long thick eyelashes, which in theory sounds great, but they're nearly impossible to curl up and keep up. As you can see, I tried, wah, wah, yay. But, um, so, you know, if you're looking for a more dramatic look, this may be for you. The thing that I will say is the wear time's pretty decent, but a little bit of the cons here is that, especially on the lower lash line, I do find that it does leave raccoon eye. Not the best, not the worst. It's not the worst one out there, but it definitely does transfer because there is a lot of um, like the fibers making it thicker. So because there's so many fibers, they need to go somewhere during the day and they will give you the raccoon eyes a little bit, which is not anyone's favorite look, but it's not horrible. There's some I've used where it was really bad. It's minimal, but it is still there. I never felt any clumping with it. I've never had problems with the clumping. And you can see here with this wand, what I love about it is that it has a nice mix of shorter um, tongs and longer tongs on the mascara wand. So it takes the clumps away, which I absolutely love. And so I don't have any problems with the clumping. It separates the lashes really well. I did not use a separator. I don't like using those things. I've poked myself in the eye a few times, so I tend to like a mascara that separates and I don't have to do anything. And I feel like this does a decent job, but again, it is to make your lashes thicker. So, you know, you may not be used to that, <laughs> but um, it doesn't clump it in the process. So I really do love this. The other con I will say is because there are fibers in this to make it thicker, it's the fiber technology, with that in mind, sometimes those fibers are going to get in your eyes and in the morning when I was using this, I would sometimes feel something in my eye poking and I'm like, ugh, you know, it just, it would really, it wouldn't irritate my eye but I could definitely feel that there was something in there so I could feel myself kind of digging. So if you wear contact lenses, which I don't, so if you wear contact lenses, this may not be your favorite mascara because of that, because if one of those little fibers gets on your eye, I could just go in there and wipe it, but you, ooh, you may have a little bit more of a difficult time. So, you know, just be aware that not every day, but you know, every other, every two, three days, I would get a couple in my eye and it would irritate it. Eventually my eye would flush it out, but some people may not like that. So just a little FYI. Also the price. I actually don't mind the price point. Some people might. I'll put it to the side. I think it's $24. That's a little bit steep for um, an eye, uh, for mascara, but um, some people may not feel that way for me. I tend to be on the cheaper side, so I like to go 10 and under. It's mascara. There is a difference with wear time sometimes and the wand and, and, and things like that. But for me, um, I just, I think it's one of those things you don't need to spend a lot of money on personally, but I did get, this is a free sample. And I'm not gonna lie, if they had a 25% off sale, I may pick one up. Yeah, because I do love it. So I will splurge on it here and there, but um, you know, it's definitely a splurge, especially considering if you're thinking about you're only gonna use it two to three months. But I guess if you technically break it down, it's under $10 if you use it for three months. But still, you know, that may be out of people's budget and understandably so because there's wonderful drugstore brands out there as well. 
But this definitely does what it promises. Two Face Better Than Sex is no lie. Well, I'm not going to say it's better than sex, but um, <laughs> that's completely up to the individual. <laughs> but I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. But um, yes, but it does do what it says it does. It does definitely lengthen and give volume to the eyes. And I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a higher end brand, this may be the one for you. You know, but if you're not, you may be going, boy, that's nice. No, thank you. And that's okay, too, because there's nothing like a good bargain. And like I said, there's wonderful drugstore brands out there. So that is my review for today. I hope you found it helpful. And until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.